Hi, I'm Jason Schneider, and this is Text Analysis with R for Students of Literature, Part 2.1, written by Matthew Jockers. We're talking about, in Part 2.1, uh, chapter 4, Token Distribution Analysis. And specifically, we're going to talk about dispersion plots. We already talked about um, how to do some of the startup code. So I'm not going to really go into this. But we do need to scan the novel. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay. You've seen how easy it is to calculate the raw and relative frequencies of words. These global statistics that show something about the central tendencies of words across a book as a whole. But what if you want to see exactly where in the text different words tend to occur? That is, where the words appear and how they behave over the course of a novel. At what points does Melville really get into writing about whales? Well, we're going to run this next line of code, which is novel.time.vector, or n.time.v. And we're going to use the function sequence. This expression returns an integer vector containing the positions of every word in the book. Now, you need to locate the position of every occurrence of whale in the novel, or more precisely, in the moby.word.v object. You can use which to identify the positions in the vector that are an occurrence of whale and store them in a new integer vector called whales.v. So we're going to run that. We want to create a dispersion plot where the x-axis is novelistic time. You have those x-axis values in the n.time.v object. Another vector containing the values for plotting on the y-axis is now needed. And in this case, the values need only be some reflection of the logical condition of true, where a whale is found and false, or none found, when an instance of whale is not found. In R, you can represent the logical value true with a number 1, and false with a 0. Here, however, since we are not really counting items, but instead noting their presence or absence, I'll introduce a special character sequence, NA as in not available, for places where there is no found match. Be begin, therefore, by initializing a new vector object called w.count.v that will uh, be full of NA values. It needs to be the same length as the n.time.v object, so you can use the rep or repeat function to repeat NA as many times as there are uh, items in the w.count.v variable. So, as you can see, now we, we dealt with uh, a couple of functions, the sequence function, the which function, and when you use the which function, you need to put in quotations the word that you're looking for. And now we're going to use the rep function. And notice here in the rep function, uh, we got NA, and then we got the length. So we're going to run that. Now you simply need to reset the NA values to 1 in those places in the moby.word.v where a whale was found. You have those numerical positions stored in the whales.v object, so the resetting is simple with this expression. And that is w.count.v, and then you have to put in brackets whales.v, and that's going to be 1. And then we're going to plot it. Okay, so as you can see, that we have a strong central tendency of well, the word whale being used right here between 100,000 and 150,000. The simple dispersion plot shows that the greatest concentration of the word whale occurs in what is roughly the third quarter of the novel. The first real concentration of whale begins just before 50,000 words. 
And then there is a fairly sustained pod of whale occurrences from 100,000 to about 155,000 words. And then there is a final patch at the end of the novel, just after 200,000. So we're going to do the same thing, but this time we want to look for the word Ahab. So what's interesting here is that we have a strong central tendency right here at the end, and it also occurs right here at the beginning, sort of. But notice right in here, in between 100,000 and 150,000, it doesn't occur as much. So we kind of have um, some uh, relationship here between whales and Ahab, at least how it's used. Um, so Ahab occurs typically, typically, where whales do not occur, and the word whale occurs where Ahab does not occur. And this concludes uh, part 2.1. I hope that you join us for part 2.2 which will uh, go into searching with grep. Grep is G-R-E-P. Thank you for watching.